Sega official on Twitter recently tweeted this article from the Japan Times, titled From Japan to the World, How to Translate a Game. And the Japan Times article here is less about translation itself and more so just trying to, like, prop localizers up. Localizers have been getting called out more and more for their corrupt behavior, and this article was, like, damage control for them. Really bad article by the Japan Times, which I covered on the channel a few days ago. So if you missed that segment and don't know why that article is terrible, consider watching that prior segment. As you saw, it's almost 10 minutes long. I'm not going to recap that whole thing right here would be a, a bit too much. Anyways, let's take a look at what people are saying in response to Sega tweeting out that article. Andy says, this is terrible news. I hope your team recovers soon. Yo, Gincha, thank you for showing your true colors. I will adjust my purchases accordingly. RGE, this is exactly how you lose customers. Your games became popular in the West because we liked them as they were. If you censor them, we don't want them anymore. P. Dugna says, stop listening to localizers. They don't actually know what the customer wants. The sales of Yakuza slash Like a Dragon have increased over the years despite the changes, not because of them. Because diehard fans supported the content and spread the fandom wider. And Valky, oh, okay, you don't like money. Good, good, I'll save it then. There's just tons of people roasting them for tweeting out that article. Which was, again, just defending corrupt localizers. Bad move. Funny enough, some people got offended at people for criticizing those corpos over at the Japan Times, as well as those corrupt localizers. For example, this response that reads, I cannot believe the comments. We need localization. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Especially for Japanese jokes that simply do not translate to anyone who isn't Japanese. There are certain aspects that don't need to be localized, but overall, localization is good for gaming. <laughs> Oh man, no, this is this is a serious tweet, by the way. This person's not like joking around or being ironic. They're serious. Someone even responded to that tweet saying, People on the comments are clearly not even part of our community. But guess what? Half of those are Hirohei and Asmongold fans, which are overreacting. That person's crazy. What are you talking about, dude? That article was awful. There's no overreaction here. That article was absolutely awful. I felt like I was losing IQ as I read it. There were so many terrible points and multiple places in the article where the article literally contradicted itself. And you're definitely crazy if you think that a ton of my viewers are not anime fans or whatever. Like, oh, not a part of our community. What an obnoxious thing to say. <laughs> Plus, a lot of the rhetoric in that article was the same rhetoric that a literal child predator was using in a viral Xenoblade situation months back. So yeah, it's weird that people are actually defending that terrible article, and it's also weird that Sega tweeted it out, too. Gonna end with a few more critical tweets. Responding to Sega here, we got KAB. I did not ask for this. Real fans did not ask for this. Your localizers are lying to you, and your ESG goals will not save you from financial ruin. Until you learn your lesson, I will not give you money. This is the time to let Sega know how much we hate this. If you have something to say, I strongly suggest that you say it. And the timing on this is incredible. There have been multiple articles downplaying changes, and now Sega is endorsing a fluff piece. The fact that the replies are absolutely torching them says it all. We play Japanese games because they're Japanese. I don't care about the words of Americans who try to change the Japanese out of your games. They're racist grifters who think they're better than you. It's crazy how gamers who just want to play games are becoming the ones to call out corruption in corporations so often. And the people who hate gamers and claim to be against corporate corruption are actually the ones who defend the corpos most of the time. What a weird dynamic. Hopefully Sega dials back from defending these terrible localizers. Uh, we'll see what happens. As always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this segment. And if you did, consider liking and or subscribing for more segments like this every day. Appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.